I guess I'm gonna um, unplug my mouse and hope that I don't need it. My, by mouse, I mean trackpad. Mm. Um, I don't know what's going on with it. It doesn't. Oh wait, no. Oh, it's working again. It, yeah, it keeps losing. Right like you unplugged it. Yeah, it keeps losing its Bluetooth connectivity to my MacBook, and so then I've had to keep it plugged in and basically charging all the time. But then, mm. like, I only have one of these charging cables hooked up that that um fits. What do you call that? The cable that also plugs into the phone and the Apple remote. Yeah, and I always called them sync it's cables, but you don't use them to it's sync a lightning anymore. Port. It's a lightning yeah. port. That's what they call it. Anyway, I only have one of those connected right now, and um, I'm not really going to move much here. So I, uh, it's just as it is what it is. I get what I get, and I don't get upset. <laughs> yeah. See, I always heard you get what you get, you don't pitch a fit. It rhymes yeah, better. That's wrong. Yeah, that's not wrong. Miss Shelley always said, you get what you get and you don't get upset. See, upset doesn't rhyme with get. I don't think you want to teach two-year-olds to say pitch a fit. I don't, know. I don't care. I have Ar- fun Arkansas with a two-year-old thing. talking about, hey, don't pitch a fit. <laughs> I'm good with that. Okay. So you can teach them that if they want. How are you doing? Are you- I'm doing good. Yeah. I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm broken. broke you i think that's a complicated answer <laughs> i mean i don't know how far back you want to well, go good because we've I got mean, lots I, of time I, I, I don't know how far back you want to go Just whack my microphone. um i uh so uh, so just just sort of acutely i was mm. shaving this morning okay you, you never you know Youngsters, <laughs> the whippersnappers. They don't really, and by whippersnappers, I mean anybody under forty. Essentially, right. like they don't really appreciate how unexpectedly fragile the body becomes. And and I say unexpectedly because I think most people would think as you age, um, there are certain things you can't do. Maybe you can't lift things. You can't do. I don't, I don't know. Maybe you're not as flexible. I, I don't know. That's not that really hasn't completely borne itself out. What what, it, what I've experienced is these stupid little things like you're sitting there at your desk and you get up to get a drink of water and your ankle feels like it's sprained. Or you you know turn your head. No, forget turn your head. You just sleep. You happen to sleep mm. soundly, a very nice, nice night of sleep, and you wake up, and you've got this knot in your shoulder, like yeah, you've been that's punching, a big one. like you've been punching a bag, like a heavy bag, all night long or something. Yeah, and you're like, what did I, what did I do? Like, what, what did I do? Right, and it takes like three days before it goes away, if you're lucky. Well, today was one of those days where. I was shaving, and as you know, I have pre-existing back issues. Okay, yes. so that that is what it is. Um, but I I got a good night's sleep. I actually woke up at quarter after five, refreshed, got up, made some tea, let the dogs out, did all the stuff, got some work done because I was off of like work work stuff last week, and it's beautiful morning. It was beautiful. It's great. I got out for my I went out for a three mile walk. My normal my daily thing and everything's great get back take a shower get ready for you know i've got to get together to go <clears throat> do the lunch break thing mm-hmm. and um i am shaving great done all that's done all that stuff's done and i feel like as i'm as i'm going to walk like so i'm going like I, you know i have this like sort of everybody has their Everyone has their routine, sure. right? You you move your way through physical space without even thinking about it, right? Well, something happened that made me think about it. Uh-oh. And it just felt like, 
At first, I thought maybe I just gained excessive amount of weight, like in, or like overnight or something. Like every my towel felt snug. Yeah. And I apologize for the visual. That's fine. For I mean, not to you, but to anybody else who's like <laughs> I realize that even your imagination can't unsee this. But yeah, I'm looking like, for the vodka right now. <laughs> I'm like my the towel felt snug. And so I released the towel because I had to do that anyway to, to get dressed. And sure. I realized it wasn't the towel. It just had this band of like tension hmm. around like the towel was still there, but inside my body. Yeah. OK, that's not good. No. And I walk over to, you know, where I hang my towel up and I get my clothes and I can feel it like I can feel everything just tightening up mm-hmm. and it gets back to that stage that we've talked about before where where your body says you ain't going anywhere <laughs> right <laughs> where do you think you're going today oh, i don't think you want to go anywhere like everything's just just grabbing me and I'm like oh hello mm-hmm. hello there now, was, this a, was it a movement that, that caused that to come forward or yes. did it just kind of happen? Okay. Yes, I, because I breathed. I don't know. Right, I don't know. Yeah. What the, I, don't, I honestly <laughs> don't know what the movement was. I think probably, you know, that's the other thing. And I'm going to, I don't want to offend anybody. But sinks are built too low. I'm sorry. I have to say it. But sinks have no business being as low as they are. And I get it. I get like there's like these, the whole... ADA, 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 ADA thing. But if I'm in, I understand like for commercial or hotels, you know, you know or, or even right, like sure. housing for like, like housing for the elderly. That's mm. like specifically for that purpose. But when you're building, when you're building a house for non elderly people, you shouldn't yeah. have to abide by some code that then insists that the sink be. Right. If right. it's made for for you. I don't understand why all these houses you. end up with these sinks that are so low. It's yeah, I, don't be know. C- I hadn't really thought of that. I need to, too low. Need to kind of pay attention to how low. So what my I sink find is, is that I'm having to bend over extra. When I lived in like the old the older houses I lived in in Baltimore. <laughs> as life like, as an adult, am I right? They were <laughs> <laughs> having to bend over extra. <laughs> <laughs> Send your hate mail to Marcus Luke, Bell. Luke um, <clears throat> so he already gets enough. So I, I was, I was, I don't know what happened, man. I just, I, I probably, it was probably like you know, wash my face off or something. I don't know, rinsing my face off. Um, and one thing led to another, and there, there you have it. Mm-hmm. Um, so. I, it was so bad, Marcus. I thought to myself, I don't, I don't actually know if I can get down to the wilderness lodge. To, like, I don't know right. how this is going to happen. And Michelle was, you're, she you're was all glad about that ADA. <laughs> she was all nice. She was like, oh, would you like me to drive you? Oh, no, no, darling. I can drive. I don't actually call her darling. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> For effect, I guess. I think if I called her darling, she'd think, so who did you confuse me with? Right. Probably so. Um, what what did the pill look like that you just took? <laughs> <laughs> well, the pill that I needed to take, um, the pill that I needed to take, I didn't have. So I so mm. I am I'm I, I go out and I and at this point, remind you, I also have I do have copious amounts of ibuprofen and Tylenol on board at this point, probably negating all of the vaccine that I got on Friday. <laughs> um, and I and I'm and that crossed my mind too. I was like, well, maybe this is a delayed vaccine response. Yeah, yeah. You know, because it's been four days, and I'm sure that's how it works. Sure, yeah. That's <laughs> science. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, doesn't maybe it isn't the proximate cause, but For the loss of the sh- of the nail kind of thing, maybe. Right. Yeah. Anyway, so um, so I get down there, and I, and I, and when I'm sitting when I'm driving, I felt great. 
no problem. So I get down there and I feel like, oh, it's gone. I mean, it's good. I worked it out, whatever, right? I get out of the car. Nope. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> nope, it's still there. And I'm like, ginger. Here I am, like, I'm gingerly walking. I'm sure the security footage is great. Like, here's this guy. I'm sure. Like, I'm just like gingerly walking up to up to the lodge. And I, and, I, and the thing is, is like when I go once once I go live. Mm-hmm. Oh no no wait I gotta go. well once I go live, um, all the pain goes away typically. Uh, this has happened before. Typically. Well, this has happened before. It happened when I was in Epcot once, and 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 it was it was even worse than today. And and I thought I I don't know if I can make it. And sure enough, it like as soon as I went live, like the pain goes away. It's great. So I just need to be live all the time. It's going to be like Ed TV, basically. Yeah. Yeah. So I um, so I go down to the to the boat launch area where I'm going to start, and I and I go to sit on the bench. Actually, I have to move the bench, but it's a light bench. I just pivoted it. I just pivoted. I didn't lift or anything Good. because it was in the wrong spot. I know where it belongs. Yeah. Someone moved it. Anyway, I moved it back to where it's supposed to be. And I look at it, and I sit down. Oh, I sit down, and then I look at it at the same time, and, and it's broken. Hmm. On the one... Oh, I forgot to tell somebody. Well, it's not completely broken, because I was able to sit on it, but you could see at the one end, like, some of the wood, like, in the middle separated. Before uh, I mm-hmm. sat, before I sat. And so I avoided that end, of course. But I sat there in with great anxiety the entire time I'm waiting to go live because I'm like, not only does my back already hurt, but this pr- would probably not help if this bench collapses. Right. Especially like right when you start going live. You're like, <laughs> maybe it's lunchtime. Maybe it's what? <laughs> maybe it's time to get a new bench. It's <laughs> So, um, everything, everything's fine. Everything's up fine. Um, but sure. But you know, I, uh, it's been hurting all day. I was waiting for it to go away. It's been hurting all day. And when I Mm. sit here, it's, it's okay. It's a little tender. It's a little tender. I don't think tomorrow morning's going to be good. Mm. Because typically my back hurts more in the morning than it does in the evening. Because of, well, your discs, your discs tend to, um, uh, rehydrate overnight. Yeah. You rehydrate. Yeah, the discs. Your discs. Yeah, they they're just yeah, you are, hydrate uh, your like, discs. You gotta hydrate your discs. Well, you don't actually don't always want to hydrate your discs because that expands oh. that expands the disc. Uh, and when the disc expands, if it's pushing up on any one expanded disc, any nerve endings, like uh-huh. like if you have a disc like mine, where like it's probably like L, it's just probably L five S one again, and yeah, uh, I hate that guy. No, it's bad. And it's probably pushing up against the nerve root for your sciatic, for my sciatic. Mm-hmm. Um, and then so so what's happening is that then the muscle, it feels a little instability, a little little sensation going there that it doesn't like. And so then your muscles all lock up. Mm. Yeah, it's like, don't I, move. I concur. Don't hurt yourself. Don't move. Just don't move, right? Which is, of course, not yeah. what, you, what you don't need. You actually need to move. You, you need to you yeah. Anyway, we've been down this road. Just um, don't move wrong. That's all. Don't move. Don't move. Make sure you do all the moves are right. All the right moves. So here I am. I'm hurt from Mm. myself. I don't know. It's a problem. I've got to the point where I can't go to sleep without waking up with my back hurting. I mean, I I don't know what it is. It doesn't matter the bed. Right, exactly. For a long time, I thought it was, well, I need the bed to be firmer, you know, because I I lay on my stomach a lot, right? How'd that work out? And so... I figured it, I must be in too soft of a bed because I must be like bending in the middle like mm-hmm. this. And mm-hmm. so I'm like, that's causing... Are you stomach sleeper or back sleeper? I sleep on my stomach. Okay. Um, stomach, like, I, like classic stomach or side? Do you do the like... Do you do like I the... I can do Do you pull side? your knee up? you do the knee thing? Like, do I do. Pull, I, yeah. I, it doesn't come way up, but, but it's... It, well, it's because yeah, it's awkward. If you like just flat, little, you get like... Yeah. Then you're like... <laughs> Like, yeah, true, but uh, <laughs> are you a head? Here's the thing, are you a head when you when you put your head on your pillow? Is your head on the pillow or is it on your arm? My, my I have arm pillow head. Arm well, so it's like arm okay. arm is like arm this. under the pillow, right? And then pillow, pillow. between yeah. arm and yeah. and that. 
and uh, yeah, that's and if it. I get on my side, then I will double my pillow. I will like fold oh, my fold pillow. It. Yeah. So that it, so that my head. Smushy not pillow, out, right? Like, like a, right? Not smushy oh, pillow. Yeah, not like yeah, one very, of those very foam squishy stringy pillow. things. So that you, no one has time for that. No, I, like those memory foam pillows and stuff. It's oh. like that's gonna kill me. That'll kill me. <laughs> um, I get it. If you're a back sleeper, that must be awesome. But that's gonna choke me to death. And <laughs> but you know, and then, and then I got um, we got one of them sleep numbers. Beds, oh yeah, right. Yeah, and I can crank that thing I up to twenty thousand, and <laughs> I don't think it goes that high. And <laughs> to where it's diamond level on the Mohs hardness scale, and I, still same thing. Not as bad, I guess, but still, Wait, it's so like you have, I would almost need it to be like curved upward. <laughs> so oh I'm, yes, 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 over I'm, I'm kind the, of draped draped over <laughs> it somehow. It's, soft. it's like. <laughs> I need to figure you're like that one out. One of those back stretchers all night long. You're like, you're like, right. you're like, like in this arched back. Yeah, like a yoga position. Right, so. only on my stomach. But as, yeah, the uh, um, I tried oh, like st- putting pillows and things like mm-hmm. under the the middle of me. I tried to figure out. Oh, you know, a body where. pillow. Have you tried a body pillow? I haven't tried like a full body pillow yet. Oh no. yeah, those are fun. Um, I may have to try that. But uh, you feel less lonely with a body pillow. I bet you do. You I do. bet you do. It depends <gasps> on what you oh. have printed on it, I guess. <laughs> Or who? <laughs> it's not like a body pillow with arms or something. It's not like well, you know it's that, that kind of body pillow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> oh, we also got a weighted blanket recently. I don't know. If I, I want to try one of those. I haven't messed with one of those before, but well, I can see the the allure. I bought Michelle a weighted blanket. It's like a, like a almost like a throw. It looks like a throw blanket, but you don't want to throw this thing because it's heavy. Um, but it looks like a throw blanket um, right. for out like in the living room area. But and it's laced with lead. And she and she practically and she, yeah, you could take it to the you could take it to the radiology with you. Uh, there you go. Like, so she, so so she liked it a lot. So we got one for the for the bedroom for the for mm-hmm. the bed and. Um, and and we have a queen size bed. We need a king size bed because these dogs are getting ridiculous. But we got we got this we're queen size, and so I ordered a queen size weighted blanket. Mm-hmm. Well, it comes finally. It arrives, and I and we I open it up and I take it and I throw it under the bed. Well, this thing it like barely covers the bed. It's basically like if you had if if they measured it. Just the top part of the mattress. Right, it's queen Not, size. In that the mattress is queen size. Right. They didn't. They, they didn't account for it needing to fold over the edges. Right. Well, that's frustrating. Which, which, that, <laughs> which that means like, so. So as soon as you get into it, you're adding surface area to the top, it's and great it for no one longer person. covers it. It's great for one person, but for two people. Two people plus two dogs. It doesn't work. That's that stuff's bunching up in all kinds of ways, right? Yeah. And then even even when you turn it sideways, like, well, maybe we don't need like our feet covered <laughs> or something. I don't know. We tried all sorts the of things. The compromises that you make in these situations. <laughs> like, why? This is not a queen. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it's it's kind of nice. It feels like somebody's giving yeah. you like a hug all night. Yeah, I, so I've you, got, you, you know, match. I'm saying if you if you blend that with the, you get a body pillow and 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 a weighted blanket, man, you're never getting out of bed. You're that's like, true. It's like those Japanese places you've talked about, like the uh, little cuddle shops. Oh, you know what I'm talking about? Cuddle shops. Yeah, the places <laughs> that you can go and like I've seen them on TV where like people you can like you can just like cuddle. You like pay somebody to cuddle. I've seen this on Japan oh. TV. Oh, okay. You, you, I'm sure that's true. I just I didn't I don't remember me talking about that. I thought we talked about this. We talked maybe about we this. Did. Totally. Maybe, maybe we you did. You had a lot We've of done pina forty coladas. of these. So. You've had a, you had a lot of pina coladas. All right. So <laughs> that's true. Um, oh, are you feeling better? Because you because we we both got the vaccine. I still our first dose of the vaccine on Friday. And if, and you scared the bejesus out of me because we went to Kona Cafe to eat. Yes. And the you, delicious Kona Cafe. And you got the banh mi, banh mai, whatever you want to call it, sandwich. Yeah, the banh mi, the, the turkey. And, and Yeah, it seems like a simple sandwich, but it's not. Oh, it's not, no. It's, it's wonderful. And I did end up eating the rest of it. Well, I'm sure you did, but, it, but you had like two bites. Yeah, I and had the poke like, bowl. I'm done. I'm done. And then for some reason I hit that sucker two two bites, maybe three. And 
I was just like, wow, I am not capable of continuing. And I don't know. It may have been something to do with the vaccine. I mean, that's the only kind of weird X factor that I can think of that was in, in, in play there. I mean, maybe I was was making you uncomfortable with the conversation. And I like, (laughs) (laughs) there's always that the company matters. It it can, it can. (laughs) We start. I'm not going to go there, but, um, (laughs) but, um, yeah. So, I mean, and it wasn't that I was, it's, it was the weirdest feeling because it was not that I was full exactly. It was Mm -hmm. just my body completely lost all interest in eating. And so I think it had to have been something. So unlike you. Yeah. I know, exactly. And I like, I like the fact that you, that that alone scared the crap out of you. Oh yeah. I was like, he's not eating. He might be dying. <laughs> this is not good. I know. I've seen that after school special like this. Starts like this. And it's like, you know, dice in the poke bowl wasn't even, there's no, not a small. lot in it's that tiny. bowl. Yeah, there's a tiny. It isn't the tuna. Mm-hmm. You know, there's there's some stuff, mm-hmm. but it, mass wise, it doesn't compose Mm-mm. most of that thing. It's just mainly the tuna. And tuna is, is kind of like one of those foods that I, you know, that kind of tuna anyway, um, is one of those foods I can... I, I'm not entirely sure I can't just eat it indefinitely. I don't think I would fill up on that. <laughs> like the, the sushi, the thing that Pretty makes sure me stop that eating the mercury, sushi is the, the rice. The mercury would become a problem at some point. Well, at, at some point, yeah. yeah. It would turn into a thermometer. But um, yeah, the, the uh, um, it didn't, not a lot going on there. So it, it wasn't that I filled up on that. So I yeah. had no idea. And then when people yeah. were talking about dessert, I was like, man, I wish I could. But good Lord. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, but I appreciate that you were, that you were uh, I did that you were concerned. That's, um, but I that's uh, sweet. so you don't have any pets. You know, no pets. Have you ever not had, currently? No. Have you ever had pets that you shared a bed with? I have. Yeah, they shared a bed with. Oh uh, no, my hamster uh, stayed in his cage. Just... <laughs> um, now Hamlet, my hamster would he would be in a you could put him in one of those balls. Yeah. And he'd run around. Yeah. And uh, my friends and I in college would play this game called Magic the Gathering. And uh, whenever we would play, we would play with what was called Chaos Hamster Rules. And we'd let Hamlet run around in his ball while we were playing. We were playing on the floor. And if he came through the play field, any, bo- any card that he touched would have to go out of the game. <laughs> 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 and that was Chaos Hamster uh, Rules. That's awesome. <laughs> I've... Yeah, uh, that's kind great. of a nerd in college. <laughs> His name was Hamlet too. That's so yeah. telling. So telling. Um, he would stop mid-game and yell. <laughs> about Doth protest. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, I last night I didn't. I don't think this is the other. Pro- I don't know. It's always hard. I'm always trying to figure out like why am I in pain mm. or why? Didn't, and last night. Um, last night, Zophie, our Australian Shepherd, who has at some point in the past year, a little less than a year, decided that she would start sleeping at the top of the bed, like a cat. At the top where your heads are. <laughs> where our heads are. Yeah. yeah. And she okay. and she typically will choose Michelle's side. Like she'll be laying in my spot, and when I go to go to get into bed, she'll move and get over to, on to Michelle's like above. But she kind of wedges herself between the the. The, the headboard and Michelle's pillow. And so she kind of like curls herself around Michelle's head. Okay. Only like, a, like she's like guarding her. So I don't know. It's really weird. Guarding her head. So but basically yeah. I get her butt most of the night. And then sometimes nice. she likes to stretch out and she likes, <laughs> she likes, she'll like, she'll like put her foot like in my face and kick me in the eye. I got kicked in the eye a couple of times. Oh, fun. It's great. Um, Why don't you have pets? They ask me. So t- <laughs> So, so, but typically, like once once I make enough commotion, she'll get up and just go to her dog bed. Oh yeah, she has a dog bed. Oh yeah, but she doesn't always like the dog bed. Clearly. Sometimes she likes to lay in the middle, of, like the floor, because she, she gets hot. Mm. She gets mm-hmm. hot, and it's Florida, so like she'll go to the bathroom with its tile, and she'll just uh, like yeah. stretch out, like she'll make herself as flat as she possibly can get and touch, like like get, get, like stretch out all over the tile, mm-hmm. or put her like our back, their stomachs up, so it's getting aired by the fan. Anyway. um so last night she started on my pillow mm-hmm. and when I went to lay in bed, she didn't move. 
<laughs> she just kind of like moved her head over and like gave me like a this little this little patch of pillow. <laughs> yeah. And like and then like rolled That's her enough. head up so it was on my shoulder so it was like cute but uncomfortable. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, but I can't move my I can't move because she's she's so she's so cute. But then finally she moved, so it was okay. It was all fine. That's good. Luna never came to the bedroom for whatever reason. She used to protest. She, sometimes she protests our neurotic Labrador Retriever who just turned five on on uh, Saturday. Yeah, um, I saw the picture. It was super cute. neurotic. Cute picture. Uh, she had a, she had a, she had a like, traumatic uh, early ex- like life experience. Mm. Anyway, she um, uh, she decided she was protesting. How old is she now? She's five. She just turned five. No, uh, um, the uh, the lab just turned five. The Aussie mm-hmm. is what's the Aussie? When do we get the Aussie? He, he, uh, she she will be three in August, I believe. Oh, okay, so she's younger. Okay, yeah, she's just two two and a half or so. So um, so she finally did. The, the lab was protesting. Decided she was sleeping in the dining room, whatever, and uh, and. I leave the door open just in case she wants to come to bed. I'm not, mm-hmm. I'm not a monster. Um, so, so then, so then I guess Sophie got up at some point and went and laid in the bathroom, but Michelle gets up in the middle of the night, I guess to go to the bathroom and steps on Sophie. Oh, and Sophie yipes apparently. Cause I didn't wake up. That's how sound asleep I was. And I am a light sleeper yeah. so for me to not wake up to, one of my dogs yiping dog. like yeah. that's sat sound asleep so i slept well now, is this know. with the weighted blanket is with the weighted blanket oh, okay i don't know what i don't know i don't know where it was in time and space at this point like i <laughs> i mean who knows how much of it i had on me i mean oh right gotcha yeah yeah it's hard to know <clears throat> but um huh. i don't know we it, do we we do these things for our dogs and do you have the sense of like does it create i mean because i think of a weighted blanket i worry a bit about heat generation well not heat generation Mm, i mm -hmm. guess but like heat retention retention is it a really like hyper efficient heat retaining blanket due to to the it doesn't see that's that's good that's good i mean i i get really hot when i sleep i do too but then i and then i get cold like but 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 i also mind you i keep the temperature pretty cool Mm mm-hmm um, we also have a fan going all the time, like a ceiling fan. Yeah, yeah. So it's pretty much set to cold in my room, like you, like to the point where you have to have a blanket. Right. Like even yeah. I have to have it, and I like it cold. But like, even mm-hmm. I have to have a blanket. Michelle, it's yeah. amazing she hasn't just frozen to death <laughs> in her sleep at this point, because she typically is cold, and mm-hmm. so. One of these days, I'll get. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so. <laughs> Uh oh, but you know what that makes me think of? I don't know if I, I don't know if you're ready to move on or not, but something I brought up a while back and we didn't really talk about. Oh, okay. One thing I do want to uh talk about while we're on the subject of Hamlet the hamster. Oh um, yeah. I would I wanted to point out the fact that he was very much the most interesting pet I've ever had. Um because what else did he, he have? was he was narcoleptic. What? Um yeah, he. <laughs> what? Wait, 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 wait! You had a narcoleptic, was, narcoleptic hamster. Yeah, he no. he would be, like be running around, and then like, like I got I got really into the tubes. Oh yeah, the habit like, trails. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so I I had him a like a a regular sort of aquarium. What kind of hamster? The bottom part, and that's like what I started with, and then I expanded to a thing that sat on top of the aquarium uh-huh. and had uh-huh. had pipes that went down uh-huh. into and he could that. climb out the pipes. And he'd go out the pipes, and then he could go out the side and, yeah, and around, and I then there was this. this this externally attached wheel mm-hmm. that you had to go up this little thing mm-hmm. and into, and it was all self-contained. Mm-hmm. Like, if that was underwater oh, or whatever, well it familiar. would be like, cool, yeah. yeah. So he would get into that thing, and he would haul ass. I mean, he would he you could power a town with the amount of energy he was throwing into that that uh, wheel. And one of the funniest things about it was he got really frustrated that he wasn't getting anywhere because he would like run, 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 and then he would get out and he would look around, 
And they would get back in and run, 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 and get out and look around. And I swear it looked like he was going, what the, what the heck? <laughs> well, because he's like, I'm going to my ball. I go places. What is yeah, like, this thing this? doesn't get me this anywhere, man. But one time he, 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 he'd be running, running, running. And then he would like start to come out and they would... <laughs> And Aww. just fall asleep like halfway in and out of the of uh, the the wheel, the wheel. <laughs> and he's just like you know, and then it, like he'd be eating, and then he would fall asleep, and then he'd wake up and keep eating, and it it was just really funny because he would Aww. he would uh, he would just fall That's asleep so like cute. that. What kind of hamster so, was he? Like a run on the mill hamster? A small one. A little dwarf I, hamster? Or? I yeah, I don't know the different flavors of hamster, oh. but he well, was you're a, supposed to eat them. He was a. What kind of person it's a little, little gray. It's kind of gray, and he had kind of a white stripe on him. That's cute. Yeah. So, you just wanted to point my that out. Since we my mouse used to. We've talked about trout fest before, right? Like the oh, mouse, yeah, yeah. yeah. He had he 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 loved his wheel so much that uh, I mean he ended up kicking the bucket on his wheel, which is kind of a, mm. it's kind of poetic because he like when they when they die lo- doing what they love. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. it's like okay, you know, he was out for one more run, but he loved it so much that he he. He, I don't know if this is the right way to say. He bedded in the wheel, like he, you know, oh, above like there was that there. piece of plastic. It was, it was like a plastic wheel, um, mm-hmm. and there was like this area above the wheel, like above, like I guess above the hub, that like that that was hollow, mm-hmm. um, and so you could, you could crawl into that uh-huh. above the wheel, and so he started like nesting up in there. Oh, cool. Yeah, it was weird. So he would like sleep. And he'd pop out and exercise and go back to sleep. <laughs> it was like, it's just the funniest thing. I love the habit trails. They were pain to clean. Yeah, yeah. But, but they're fun to watch. They are fun to watch. But, uh, um, so, well, I was in all the pet talk was, was making me think about this thing that I brought up a bit ago. Um, mm-hmm. When you're out for a walk. Yeah. And you come across somebody who's walking the dog, walking mm-hmm. their dog. Mm-hmm. Is it appropriate? And if so, like, what do you do? Is it appropriate to greet the dog? Ah, uh, yes. And like, what is the etiquette related to greeting the stranger dog? And um, and 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 what are the limits? What are the limits? <laughs> well, yeah, like, um, <laughs> like, when do you cross the line? Like, oh, you weirdo. If you're asking that question, you've probably gone beyond the limits. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't know that I have. I <laughs> so, greeting the dog. Um, if it's a situation where I am going past, like, if we're walking and we're passing each other. Mm-hmm. Like I'm going somewhere way over there and dog person is going somewhere way over there and there's no reason for either of us to stop. If the dog, it's kind of weird. It's like if the dog acknowledges me and it's like, like the dog hey, 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 dude, okay. yeah. then yeah. I'll be like, hey, buddy, what's up? You know, mm-hmm. and then that's about it. And I'll keep going. But if we have, if we were both going to the, the mailbox at the same time uh, or something like that where one of where we're there's a reason for us not just to pass one another but to be around one another not long term but certainly longer than than passing by then i might i might um talk to the person and then then talk, you, you know talk, ask you them talk about to the, the person? dog um hey, yeah yeah like, you don't wait, wait around cute. the corner for the person to clear the space and then go check your mailbox <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't. Oh my god! I, there was a time in my life when I did, but not okay. anymore. I'm like, ah, oh, I can't uh, get the mailbox yet. <clears throat> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I mean, I might ask him about the dog. I might say, hey, what's your hmm. dog's name? Or can I pet your dog? Or, or oh, or can I ask pet the dog? Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. Well, some people don't want you to pet their. Dog. No, they don't. I don't know no. why, but well, you should never pet the dog on like without asking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm talking more about like in the passing thing. Like this is not a the neighbor. You're in the yeah. neighborhood. You're walking down the street, and somebody walk, walking their dog, and they they're gonna, you're going to cross paths. Mm-hmm. What's the appropriate greeting? Yeah, I think I, I think I wait. I think I wait for the dog to make the first uh, move. Okay. <laughs> so you don't you don't like you don't like give him a like tip of the hat or anything like. 
Like, no, I, I don't doff my cap at them. Um, mm. But nor do I bite my thumb at them. Um, ah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Right. So we're already on the Hamlet thing. Might as well throw some Romeo and Juliet <laughs> in there too. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I guess if it, you know if the dog's like, hey, you know. But the thing I don't want is to be the human equivalent of the doorbell sound on the television. That right, freaks the dog out. Right. right, you want to get them all exuberant and and or, right. Or in, right. Or I mean, in, it could be that this person okay. has been dealing with that all day and has just gotten the dog chilled out. And if I go, hey, you know, and the dog freaks yeah. out. Well, yeah, much. I try to read. Like, there's those people who are like they're clearly training their dog, so they pull them to the side and like, okay, good boy, good boy, good boy, mm-hmm. good boy, good boy. I'm like, I'm not gonna be like, hey, buddy, 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 buddy. <laughs> Let's do a stress <laughs> test. Let's see how your training's going. <laughs> no, I don't do this that. This is an unscheduled drill. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> um, but I like, I found my, I am asking this question because I found myself sometimes um, giving like a more genuine greeting to the dog. Oh, yeah. Than to the person. Like the person, to the person, you know, I'm like, hmm, hey, like, actually, right. I'm, I'm more than, I like, I, I. I like I'm an all in kind of greeter, like, hey, you know, like hi, good morning. I try to read them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And I try I'd really try to make sure that I'm not saying good morning when it's afternoon, especially when it's like <laughs> yeah. three or four o'clock. I just did that again this weekend. It's embarrassing every We're time. We're doing that whole how you doing? Not much. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> well, right, we've talked about this before. Like the person who asks, you say like you like, you know, good morning. Or afternoon, whatever, and then the person will say, "How you doing?" And like, dude, like, I can't have this level of conversation for the speed at which we're both walking past one another. Yeah, if, I'm, I'm, if I'm still like, having I'm, to like talk over my shoulder, and now I'm supposed to say, then the conversation I'm, say, I'm doing well. Turn. How are you? Like, no, and then you're gonna tell me, and now I'm like six blocks apart. Well, have a good day. I can't do that. Yeah, not even to the guy who remembers my name. <laughs> So um, I think his name is Bob, but I can't be sure. And I can't, like, he knows my name. And he said it so many times now that I can't say, I can't, like, say, hey, Is it Bob. the Australian guy? Because his name is <laughs> no, Toby. No, he's across the street. <laughs> right, we know about Toby. You know, he's across the street. Because Crocodile Dundee. Right. <laughs> Toby's okay. Right. So, <laughs> I just, I'm like, down, so I just find myself, like, I, like, give the dog, like, I say hi to the person. And then I, like, look at the dog. And I'm like, the goof, like, hi. Like, Hey. But I don't say the no. I don't make the noise. It just it's like. Well, you just start like, saying that to the people. Hey, I just feel. Like, I just feel like I feel like. I feel hey, like buddy. the dog deserves hey, it. Like the dog, like like you have. To, if you're like for somebody to not greet the dog or to say hi to the, acknowledge the dog's yeah, existence, it seems weirdly. It says something about the person. Callous. I think right. Yeah. Like, like you can't. And that's why I, I sp- specifically do it if the dog is, a, you know. Approach me now. If the dog mm-hmm. does not give a rat's ass about me, and he's just like, oh, "I'm just kind of walking," you know, then I'm okay not acknowledging the dog. Hmm. But I feel like the, I don't want to leave the dog hanging, you know. Like yeah, if he's yeah, going, yeah. "Hey, hey, I like you. Hey, what's up?" You know, and I'm like, "No." Then that, yeah, I feel like a jerk. Yeah, then so. you're that guy. Yeah. Yeah, that's messed up. That's like Lucius Malfoy evil right there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no! It's just <laughs> the whole Bob thing reminded me of that Rob thing that hasn't you been about. That um, I don't know if I have the energy. <laughs> that was all I, you sent me. I don't know if I have the energy it's for Rob. it. Rob. <laughs> <laughs> it's like okay, it's almost like when the pins, the shorter the pins are, the more there is behind them. Okay. <laughs> There's years of therapy behind that one, man. Um, That's, it, I mean, it what that should, air about there it. should be. There should be years of therapy behind that one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know if I have the energy for that one tonight. Yeah, well. I mean, I might, uh, but there's that. Oh, there's that one, too. I th- oh. Yeah, you had the two that are apparently linked. <laughs> okay, so we're... Florida so, fishing in wheelchair shopping. This actually, I think this happened... <laughs> This may have happened when we were on the way to dinner with you guys on Friday. Yeah, that's when I got it. Yeah, and you oh, said okay, it. good. Okay, so yeah. I have the, I have the time and place right. So I was, so I'm, so I'm, we're driving around. We have a to get out of our neighborhood. There's a circle around this around this uh, pond that we mm-hmm. have to drive around. Driving around that circle, 
And as we, I think it was actually, maybe it was before we got to the circle. That part's not really important, but I'm going to dwell on it. Um, yeah. Because it's not like anybody knows or cares. At this point, they're like, just get on with the story already. What the hell? Every time, every <laughs> time, just it doesn't matter where it is. It's like my so, grandfather telling a story. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> Look, that's the... I, that's in my own head. I know, like that's my own audience in my head reacting that way. So I, so we're driving past some house on this area in this area, and there's a wheelchair. There's a wheelchair out at the curb, like you put out for bulk trash. Uh oh. Right? But there's a wheelchair at the curb with a paper sign on it, saying for sale, fifty dollars. <laughs> For sale, fifty dollars, and the thing is out there. It's on the, it's on the curb. It says for sale, fifty dollars. Okay. And I'm like, I knew we've talked about my neighborhood. Now people will like, you yeah. know, you put something out, people will take it, right? I mean, like, it's mm-hmm. just a matter. It's just gonna happen. If you want to get rid of anything, you just bring it to my neighborhood. You put it out there, they take anything. Uh uh-huh. As long as it's not broken, even if it's a little broken. Um, and, uh, but I think that they negated that. They neutralized that by like. Putting the like sign you put on it saying out there and it says $50. it's for sale. Suddenly oh, that can. becomes theft. Right. That that one little measly piece of paper. Right. Right. Like you're putting it in the same spot as the giveaway stuff. Yeah. But by putting a piece of paper on it, somehow you've made it f- go from worth nothing to fifty dollars. It's like a magical ward. <laughs> I don't, it's like. I mean, why don't I just? Who needs locks? You just put a piece of paper on it and say, like, this right, is what yeah. So, so, anyway, so, all the stuff in this house is for <laughs> sale. <laughs> so, don't steal it, otherwise, that would be stealing. <laughs> I'm going to have to start putting pieces of paper on my trash cans. So, <laughs> and my, and my, trash cans and my and bent stuff. up janky mailbox that I haven't told you about. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 we, so we so we so we so um we're driving past this thing and there's this wheelchair there and I thought I'm thinking to myself I said to Michelle I was like I don't know what's wor- like this whole situation like, the, 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 it bothered me that it was at the curb first of all because that's where you uh-huh. put the bulk trash and it's Friday yeah that's a weird place to stick it if you're right. trying to sell it right second of all. Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars just seems like I don't know. It seems like a lot, and I don't know. I have no idea how much a wheelchair costs. I have to. I was thinking it seemed cheap. Oh, okay. Um, well, to me, it a, seemed a like a wheelchair. I would think would be in the two three hundreds range. That's like one of those foldable wheelchair, like airport wheelchair kind of things, though. Yeah, but like. you know how medical stuff is. <laughs> I, I know, but like, but you just set it on the curb. Like, yeah, if it's see, really that's worth fifty dollars. You're not worth like. Like you, if you think something's worth fifty dollars, you don't just sit that out unlocked on a curb. That's true. That's the thing. That's what was. That's that was weird, right? It was almost like it was, they were baiting somebody. And then yeah. And then this is the real. This is the part that really got to me, and it still it still bothers me. You, it it, it, it to do that requires this assumption. Or, or, a, or a deeply held belief, maybe hope even, that someone is, is either going to be driving by yeah. and just realizes, like, Happens oh, to need oh I need a wheelchair. Right. Like, like some kind of an impulse buy. It's serendipity. <laughs> like, like, oh. You know, uh, both no. of my legs fell off I, the other day. You know what we've been looking for, honey? <laughs> we, look, look, look. Remember we were talking how we need to get a wheelchair? It's right there. And I was thinking, I need a thing to sit on that has wheels on it. A wheel, I mean, a, a chair wheel, if you if you who will. Is just hap- <laughs> who just happens by a place and sees a wheelchair sitting like, oh, that's what I need. Right? Or yeah. or Because, because the alternative is like somebody's <laughs> in the market for a wheelchair and they're out. Instead of going to Walgreens or wherever you go to buy a wheelchair, they're not <laughs> driving around chairs. neighborhoods. <laughs> now, how many for sale wheelchairs have you seen 
sitting I, on the side. Currently side. none. Right. I know this guy that saw one, but that's it. Right, so like, how long have these people been driving around who finally happen upon it? Like, oh, thank goodness. I told you, Marge. Our, <laughs> our journey is Somebody over. Somebody has one. Like, this, and then... Then I thought, like, so what are you supposed to do? Even if you want it, like, what are you supposed to do? Do you, like, do you park and, like, walk up to the person's door and knock? Yeah, that's the other thing. It didn't it's have like a phone you see number these on things, it. they usually have phone numbers on it, but no. it's just like, and maybe it's just for informational purposes. <laughs> this wheelchair, 50 bucks. Oh, it's not for sale. <laughs> this is just how much it's worth. <laughs> like, what? Why? Like, what are you yeah, doing? Yeah, it seems like. Every decision that this person made trying to sell this wheelchair, they got completely wrong. <laughs> the only thing I could, the only, the only explanation I can come up with, it just actually just occurred to me is this, is that, um, is that there was some compromise position. Cause I can understand, I can imagine this happening between like with Michelle and me where, where I say, we got to get rid of this wheelchair. We mm-hmm. got to get rid of this janky wheelchair. We got to get rid of it. And, and she says, no, we could, we can sell it. And I mm-hmm. say, Michelle, no one is going to buy this wheelchair. No one's going to buy it. Just throw it, just put it out for the bulk trash. Maybe somebody will take it. And she says, I think I can sell it. I uh. think I can sell it. And finally, the compromise position that's reached is, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to put it out for bulk trash. But we're, <laughs> in the meantime, we're going to put a, we're going to put a sign on it saying for sale $50. And yeah, if it doesn't sell by it, Monday morning, we're taking the piece of paper off, and yeah. then right. That's the only <laughs> that's the only possible explanation in my mind is that they were they were willing to just give it away, right? But if they could get fifty bucks, but on for the it, off chance that why not the person who happens to need a wheelchair <laughs> drives by, why not in the three days between when they put it out and bulk trash shows up? Yeah, well, I mean, if you, you had been bucks. with me, if you had been with me, and we had some time to kill, uh-huh. like. I think, might have bought it. <laughs> no, no, I think I yeah, for the wheelchair races. No, I think I think what we I would have done some we would have done some pictures. Oh well, sure. Yeah. You know, I can see myself sitting in there, and then the, and then the person comes out. It's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, well, I'm trying it out. <laughs> like, it's like, it's kinda, so, <laughs> like, let me uh, let me get you to walk me through this thought process <laughs> here. <laughs> so what? Uh, can you throw in some rope? How uh, how much do you want to sell this thing? It doesn't. I'm not getting that you really <laughs> care much whether or not you move this chair here. I mean, it's not there anymore. Well, it's I mean, it's bulk trash. Uh, oh yeah, that was run that since was, then. That was okay, today. Well, yeah, that was this morning. But I didn't see it. I didn't drive that way since Friday. So when they get back to the I drove to the today, depot, the the trash guys are like running around in the chair doing wheelies and stuff. <laughs> They're like, can you? Believe? Yeah, I, I can't. I don't. It was weird. It was weird. But but, what was, but but the reason I thought this was connected to something else, because I, I like, you know, the th- when these things, when I see these things, what, what I what I begin to say to myself is and to other people around me is Florida, man, it's just Florida. Yeah. Like You see this like you just, <laughs> just don't Florida see this things. stuff. It's Florida, you know, um, which on my, my drive and I see this all the time. I know you do, too. But it but it occurred to me yesterday during my drive over to my mother's for Easter um, to send you a pin about it because I was I was coming around the bend and there is this uh, there's this I don't know, just call it a pond is 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 I think giving it more Generous. credit than, <laughs> yeah I mean, like I think that it's it's probably probably more like a holding like a, like a like a retention pond kind of thing like you like a, okay like a drainage situation Mm -hmm. like you you know you do development in a certain area and you have to have drainage now there's lots of ponds in florida no man i think florida is mostly pond (laughs) and i can only imagine there's some i don't know whether it's like this unwritten rule or if if it's like california where like in california you cannot have like all beaches are are public there's no such thing as a private beach so you Mm -hmm. have to you have to grant there's like technically an ease an easeway easement easement, easement um yeah. to any any of the beaches in california so you can't like mm-hmm. block off all paths to a beach right which people try to do and then becomes a problem um in florida i'm beginning to think that there's some kind of law that says if there's a body of water 
I don't care how big it is. It could be a puddle. You have the right to just pull off and fish in it. <laughs> like, I mean, these guys were parked. When I say parked, I mean stopped with uh-huh. the ignition off, like in out of their vehicles, but not in a parking area or anything. They, they, they drove up on a hill. Okay. Under the grass. There's no parking there. Like, if you would think to yourself, if I do this, I'm going to get a ticket. These people pull up and over the, on the hill, and then and they, and they, they're out fishing <laughs> on Easter Sunday. And, like, the middle of, like, the, the it's on the corner of a busy road. And they're oh. fishing <laughs> in the, like, retention pond like, thing. And I'm thinking to myself, why do you believe that there are fish in there? Right. Like somebody <laughs> just not, and that's not connected to any like tributary or anything. Right. Somebody right. would have had to put fish in there. Well, uh, some fish eggs survive going through the uh, digestive system of a bird. And so it okay. is possible for there to be a fish in there because of that. You know, the bird poops in there. and the Why would you hatch. eat that fish? But. Or would he, it's a long shot. I mean, eat, but why would you eat that fish if you were there? Like, even if there was fish in there, like, it's a retention yeah. pond, like on the side. Who knows of what pond. kind of fish it is? For one, and number two, why? For me, if I'm going to be spending my time fishing, I want at least there to be some evidence that fish exist here. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe they know. Maybe this is where they go every Could Easter. Be. This is their Easter fishing hole. And they go Maybe to they the got soul. one of those, uh, those things that you put on the, the the bass detectors or whatever you know that you Is put that on the, the boat, and it's a it's a There's sounding no boat. device. These guys are pulled off. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. You take it off the boat, and then you just kind of like I guess you use it like a tricorder from <laughs> the edge of the thing. <laughs> yeah, I kept it. Piscine you, life forms. Are do you here. know what I'm talking about? Have you seen this? Like you're driving. I, I, I've you seen drive people fishing I-4. in weird stuff. Yeah, on the Florida Turnpike. Yeah, pulled off on the, like under an oat like like. No, you're exactly right. If if you leave a if you leave a like a, a solo cup of water outside <laughs> for too long, it's one cool. of two things will happen. One, somebody will end up being fishing in it, or there'll be an alligator in it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like I don't know why. Nowhere else in the world have I ever seen anything like this, except it's Florida. So weird. It's like. Oh, it's an exit off of the Florida Turnpike. Let's just pull over here. Right. And fish. The, the, it, like, the, the, the idea of fishing in that water is so important <laughs> that you're fine just kind of leaving your car somewhere. But to me, this is like really these, weird. Are the, these have got to be the same people that the person's counting on to sell the wheelchair. Right. Like, like, you know, like, like, oh, yeah. I could use a wheelchair. Hey, Clem. <laughs> what the heck? You know what would be fun? You know, like uh, you can drag your line behind a boat. Well, if I had a chair <laughs> that would run in a, in a line on some wheels, I could do the same kind of thing in this pond. Exactly. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, yeah, that was... Yeah, Florida fishing. Well, it's, mm. not, it's not like... I'm sitting here thinking that you had gone like fishing. Are you got you out of your mind? I know which is why I was like, met? "Well, I gotta hear this." Oh no, <laughs> I haven't gone fishing. I have not gone fishing since I was. Oh, to say I was seven would be potentially exaggerating. <laughs> I mean, I, not, it seemed out of character. <laughs> I went. So I. Uh, I went crabbing with my grandfather once, which is even more boring than fishing. Um, no, and I think I went fishing crabbing. with them one time. And I think I was basically, I think my mother was told he's never fishing with us ever again. <laughs> because I just complained the whole time. Yeah, like, I, I was just I see that. <laughs> bored out of my mind. Like, what are we doing? What are we doing? I like deep sea fishing when I'm Are we just standing here sick. on the pier? But, uh, what are we doing? Yeah. Why? That's not as I remember I remember fishing wanting from Yoo-Hoo. shore. I've never kept asking for Yoohoo. Yeah. Do I have a Yoohoo? That's I want not a Yoohoo. Unreasonable. Well, they're drinking beer. Like, can I have a Yoohoo? Yeah. I don't have any Yoohoo. Well, why don't you have any Yoohoo? 
Why would you bring me out here and not have any you like what are we doing? I thought we were drinking all the stuff that we like. And just like and they, it's not like they gave me a rod. I think I wasn't even really fishing. I was probably just standing. <laughs> Observing. I was, I was right. It's observational fishing. It's the best kind, really. <laughs> it's passive fishing. It's like, if a fish jumps into the boat next to you, <laughs> then so be it. <laughs> just those. And so after that, I just got a bad taste in my mouth, no pun intended, for, for the sport. And I mean, if you, I, 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 I think doing something active, like I've, Fly fishing, I think, would be fun, or 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 even like the fishing people do in the ocean. Like they sit at the beach. Yeah, see, deep sea they, fishing is. Well, no, 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 no deep sea fishing. No. No, I don't think my stomach will take it. I have because of motion sickness, seasickness. Yeah, I good. I do well on big boats. Yeah. I do well on as small long as... boats that are in calm water. Deep sea right. fishing, not so calm, not so big. <clears throat> the last time I went deep sea fishing. Uh, like a storm was coming. Oh boy! And so yeah, I, I had a bad. Um, you see, no, I, um, so why would you want to do that again? Well, because the the action when I'm not feeling horrible, my face off um, is oh. is actually a lot of fun. Oh, <laughs> but uh, you get a bad day, and yeah, it's yeah, a really no, bad thanks. day because there's nothing you can do about it, right? You're out there. No, you're not going anywhere. And it's not like you can go, hey, take me back to the shore real quick. Nope. I mean, it's, <laughs> that's not going to happen. Nope, unless you're the guy who chartered everything. like then. Right, sure. but then but. you feel like a jerk because everybody mm-hmm. else seems to be having fun. And you're like, yep. no, 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 I, I, I suck. My inner ear is goofed up. And so I, we all have to go in and, and end our day early. Yep. Uh, doesn't that make me feel like a, a right <laughs> bell end, as they say in the UK? Um but uh, yeah, yeah. But it's fun when it's when it's not not so bad out there. Or if I'm smart and I took some, you know, stinking what's it called? Um, Dramamine or something? Dramamine, yeah. Dude, that makes me sleepy. Makes me sleepy too. But I'm I'd much rather be sleepy than seasick. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, if I go on a cruise, I take two Dramamine before I even get on the boat. Really? And then I stay on Dramamine the whole cruise. Oh wow. I wonder because, you drink pina coladas. So it's like, well, and, 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 and you don't drink as many uh, things because you get a little loose. You're tired. Uh, lighter, lighter, lighter I, I, yeah, I don't need it on the big ships. Yeah, see. I don't need it on the big ships. I, and I think I probably don't. I hate getting to the point where I need it. Uh, okay. And then I take it. Mm-hmm. And then I just, I don't want to spend any time needing it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I want to I want to preemptively uh, cut this off. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like that feeling of being like feeling loopy and tired. That's yeah. the problem. Yeah. yeah. I sleep so. really well on a cruise ship. Though. I do too. But Man. I love that feeling. Like you're like laying there. Yeah. Like, oh. Now the rocking, when I'm sleeping, the rocking's great. Yeah. Any other time it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm walking, no. Nope. like that? Sitting on a chair oh, up on a deck. Oh. Nope. <laughs> oh, interesting. That's interesting. See, I like, I don't mind it on the big boat, but then I like, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I'm sure it's mental. It's all in my head. Yeah, yeah. It's um, weird how that that can be the case. I uh, brains, <laughs> brains, <laughs> <laughs> brains, brains. Um, well, that's yeah. That that was I was Florida fishing, and I, I don't. And I'm sorry it wasn't in more. I don't know. <laughs> active. For you then no but that that is absolutely a um, it's weird right a bizarre thing that happens it's weird. here just it's only florida it's only florida, florida stuff man yeah florida stuff the sunshine you get weird state. stuff i mean there's weird stuff in all states but like yeah 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 we seem to be uh uh known for <laughs> our particular brand of weird um i saw another snake when i was walking i think there's this i Did think you really well, there's, there's this. Don't, yeah, God, my mother ever hears this, she'll lose her mind because she hates snakes. And I, somehow, miraculously, she's lived here almost a year and hasn't seen a snake. I don't think mm-hmm. it's incredible. Um, but uh, you know, when, when I'm on this wall, when I'm on my walk, I, I, I would say one out of every seven walks, oh, I'll see okay. a snake. And um, I use a prime number for your sake. And no, and I and I did not and I and then it's not like it's always startling when you see a snake, 
Of course, yeah. Because they just kind of like out of like nowhere. Like, yeah, because you only see it when they freak out and all ass. <laughs> right. and, and that makes you jump a little bit. But I don't understand. Like each time it's ahead of me. Like uh-huh. I like I haven't come, I haven't happened upon the spot yet, and they're coming from like the the uh, like the the like the, the, the curb area, like the like stretch of grass that's like between the street and the sidewalk. Hmm. Across the sidewalk and into someone's yard. And it's just like little black snakes. Hmm. Um, yeah. I just don't understand. Like, why? Why are they doing that? Like, why not wait until I pass and then be like, okay, now I can go. Yeah, like, yeah. Why? I never like, understand why are that. they preemptively going? Like, I don't know why. Like, if you would chill. Yeah, just wait a second. Yeah. Why do you have to go in front of me? That's like, <laughs> like now I know where you're. Now I know where you are. I'm now I'm gonna call my friend the hawk who's been like following yeah. me. I, I I swear there's this hawk that was following me around the neighborhood the other day too. Like, <laughs> I started I started talking Boy. to him. So it's in any snakes. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what hawks sound that's like. Still, I <laughs> I've seen no, a few around here. That's Toby. That's not I ain't seen one in a while, though. Yeah, you seen one, mate. There's one over there, yeah? Ah, uh, stick, mate. That's a stick. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even try to point that out at me. So it was a snake. <laughs> but he, like, flew. Like He, like, Talk started that. by this pond, and then he started, like, like... Flying to another tree, another tree is on my long wall, and then to another house, into another house. It was mm-hmm. like for like, I must have at least been a half a mile. He was like tracking now. He pro- it was probably coincidence, but it was kind of cool. Yeah. Like, oh, hey, come on, let's go for a walk. Did I tell you about the hawk that was over here? That um, like right after lockdown started to ease up a little bit, and we were able to actually leave our houses. Um, we went next door to the the place where they got the pizza and all of that stuff over there, right? And um, we were out waiting on, we were getting, I think we were getting a beer at the, um, at Crooked Can. Okay. Over here. And we, it was, it was to the point where it, they only serve people going in and getting and leaving and taking. So I, had, I was getting one of those, uh, what you call them, uh, they're not yeah. growlers. Yeah. What are they called? Yeah. I was going to um, call it a growler, but I guess. I think it is a growler. Yeah. I, I think, yeah. I don't know what I was thinking it was that it isn't. But anyway, growler. I was going to get a growler filled up. And um, we're standing outside of the place, and just bits of fish fall out of the sky. <laughs> <laughs> and we, <laughs> we look at like, Oh, you told me about this. What the heck is that? You told and, me about that. I don't think we've talked about it here, though. Yeah. And so, like, like uh, weird. I don't know. And because at first we didn't know it was fish, right? It, it just kind of looked like some, you know, something. And I was like, maybe it was berries or something. I don't know. Uh, it was way over there. I didn't really care about going over and investigating. Um, and so we we're waiting. And then, like, more stuff falls out of the sky. <laughs> and, like, fish, this fish falling from the sky. And uh, one of the guys that was working there, and I was like, dude, I think there's some fish just <laughs> falling out of the sky over here. And, and he was base. like, oh, yeah. It's like, oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, yeah, we got a hawk that lives in that tree now. Um, it's like ever since everybody's been hiding in their houses, um, I guess he goes over to uh, Apopka, uh, which is just, you know, three blocks practically north of here and gets him a fish. And comes over and hangs out in that tree and eats the fish. And he is not a tidy eater. <laughs> it's bits of fish just kind of fall out. And we have to come out and clean the fish from the sidewalk. Like a number of times a day. <laughs> it's like, yeah, the things, the things that lockdown has made you have to be concerned with. <laughs> Are unexpected and disquieting. <laughs> <laughs> like why? Like why would he? I guess because there's people down there, so he's not going to come pick up the bits. I, no, I guess not. Yeah, I or mean, those I, are the bits he didn't want. You know, maybe, maybe he's like, like oh, that, I'm not, yeah, not yeah, going to have any of that. You know, it's like when you're picking through the check mix and you're like, well, <laughs> that thing. Maybe he's exactly, like that. That's exactly what it's like. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, well, yeah, which yeah. round? Which which round was the which round is the uh, r- r- uh, That's that'll Soon, be the one right? that goes that drops tomorrow. The day oh. that this drops, that will drop. Matter of fact, this will drop after that. Oh, 
So we, wow. we're already past it at this point. Oh. And I'm not going to say anything. I don't want to spoil it because what if mm-hmm. something goes wrong <laughs> and it doesn't drop? Oh. So, you know, it oh. should. It's done. It's in the can. It's ready no, to we go. Don't wanna, but, yeah, we don't want to jinx it. But right, exactly. Right. Because Lord knows I don't need any more of that. What was it up against? <laughs> involved in this. Chess, Chex Mix is going up against the Cheez-Its. Oh, right. Right. Oh, that's going to be interesting. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen. I have to look and see what people. What do? Wait. Yeah. So, how are you looking? How are you seeing what people have picked? It's because of what they've registered online, or? Well, I'm doing a poll on is the uh, on the group page. I guess um, I should go over there for tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, it would be cool if you like visited the page every now and then. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe. I'm maybe hurt. you like you like I'm to hurt, be man. I'm maybe, damaged goods. <laughs> maybe you like to be surprised. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but uh yeah I'm putting up a poll uh like after I drop today's match I'll put I put up a poll for tomorrow's and then I'll keep them like that okay going I'll, but, I'll uh, but we also have a, a you know I don't know about a dozen people that have, that have submitted a, a bracket as well so I see what what they've chosen to cool so. cool well I should go do that yeah yeah you should check it out yeah, maybe uh be a part of the part of the family over here. Come, Meet come some of the people. Of the family. I'm the, I'm that all guy. came from your page anyway. I'm the, I'm the guy that sits there and didn't like pay attention. Like, eh, don't don't talk to me. I got my book. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's go to we go on vacations with Michelle's family. We go to the beach. I was so uh, I'm just yeah. such a jerk. And I and I'm sh- and lately I was kind of shameless about it too. Like we go to the beach and um and I just, when I go to the beach, I like to just, I like to go to the beach and just sit there and read and not be bothered. Right. And they're a bunch of talkers. Mm. So I would have to go and like be like 20 yards away <laughs> in a chair reading a book. And I'm sure they're like, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with that guy? What's wrong with Right. Him? Why did you, are you Me with him? Why are person. you with him? And Michelle will walk over every once in a while and do the like obligatory. Do you need anything? Everything okay? How are you doing? Blah blah. blah. Fine. I'm fine. I'm reading. <laughs> <laughs> what don't you understand? You turn into a Seinfeld character. It's like, and then she goes. She goes back to her family. They're like, oh, he's great. He's good. He's great. It's fine. No, this is how he is. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong. With that. I just. I have trouble. I have trouble. Like, I just, like, there are certain places I like to socialize, and there are certain places I like to just be left alone. At the beach, I want to be left alone. Right. When I'm in a supermarket, I want to be left alone. Like, in a line for anything, leave uh, me alone. Yeah. I tell you, anytime I go into any store, just leave I me alone. don't even want the person don't asking even, me if there's anything you pretend that they can... like I'm invisible. Right. Until I come well, to you and say I need, I need help you, with something, right? I will find. I'll come you. talk to you. <laughs> They're the best salesmen. You go into a place. We talk. You and I talked about this. That time we went into that store and the woman was like, "Can I help you? Can I help you? Can I help you?" And I was like, "Just." <laughs> you you well, about they would, to get I stabbed, would just, I just wish they would say when you walk into a store, they would say, "Here, hey, I'm Bill. Feel free to look around, try whatever, yeah. blah blah blah. I'm gonna be over here, minding my own business. If you need anything, you come find me. Otherwise." I'll leave you alone. Yeah. And God the worst is like you. a place like Best Buy. When, when there's you. any in, in electronics involved or anything like that. I mean, I feel like that oh. scene in Parks and Rec when when uh, um, uh, Nick Offerman's character, uh, Ron Swanson, is in is in uh, like the hardware store. <laughs> and the guy's like, can I help you with anything? And he goes, I know more than you. <laughs> 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 I feel like that. <laughs> I know, and like then, oh, they want to ring me up. They always want to ring me up. Oh, can I, can I ring you up? I'm like, no, I'm not finished. I just want to be left alone. <laughs> just, That's yeah. a problem. Or, or they'll, they'll see that you're carrying something around, and they'll be like, you want me to keep it up at the front for you? <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I don't even want that. It's a basket. Then who do I I'm talk to? What to if you're not around. there? Can I get it? You know, back? what if I decide I don't want that thing? I mean, no. Don't stop bothering me. Yep. This isn't making me want to shop here, dude. <laughs> or they'll ask you, like, who helped you with this today? Your mother. And, like, am I supposed to say nobody or am I supposed to say you? Like, 
<laughs> I don't know what to say. I myself, do I get the commission? Right, yeah, I help myself. Because <laughs> I'm an adult. <laughs> Thank you. We did a little research before I came shopping. <laughs> like, no one stumbles you know into buying like, a motherboard. Amazon.com. That's who's <laughs> about to help me with this. <laughs> and, that, and this is why Fry's was out of business in, in San Francisco. <laughs> Because they were just, it's the worst experience. The, they had everything. They were like Radio Shack on steroids. Mm-hmm. They were like if, I've always if, heard about them. I don't if like Best Buy and Radio Shack got together and had a baby, like it would be fries. Awesome. But Sounds like had, a great place. But the problem is they were they they had all sorts of this like can I help you? Can I help you? Can I help you? Yeah. Thing going on. Yeah, and like oh, and then oh, and then the system was they would they would write you up a little slip on paper. And give it to you, and you'd go up to the front of the store, even if you already had the stuff, and you'd have to go to the front, and they in this giant cattle call, they go into the DMV, practically, where you would then, and they had the most, the, like the largest pieces of candy and snack foods in the world in this line where you were waiting. It was like you felt like a dwarf. You're like, like why are all the things so big? Like, and so <laughs> you're like waiting to check out. Being tempted by all this candy and snack goodness. And then you finally get called to the DMV line like, over here. Hello, over here. Right? And you walk, you walk down there. And you hand me your little form. And God forbid you have something that's behind the cage. Yeah. Every once in yeah, a while yeah. I need something that's in the cage. And there's that mm-hmm. one guy. There's one guy in the entire store. There's never one any guy more than one key to that thing. Who has the key. <laughs> and they cannot find him. He might as well be on the exactly. back of a milk carton. Like He's he trying is, to throw it in Mount Doom somewhere. He is, <laughs> <laughs> nowhere to be found. And then they start talking, well, yeah, talking smack up. about the person. Like, oh, I can never find I don't know where he ever goes. Why so don't give him the key. <laughs> He's never <laughs> and he always comes back with this like swagger, you know, and like this, like you know, he got the keychain on his belt thing, and he's yeah. like, he's like it's one of those pull out, slurp it back kind of I mean, He doesn't talk to anybody. Don't, no, no, don't no. He's the key master. <laughs> he spins Glortho like a mofo over here. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I hated the experience there. Oh, oh man, it was even worse if you had to return something, which I did. Oh man, I hate returning things <laughs> because they had they had they packaged something. It packed like it was brand new, but it had clearly been returned. It wasn't good. It was like a power adapter or, or an extra power thing for a MacBook, and mm-hmm. um, clearly, clearly had been repackaged like for sale when it was faulty. And I took it back. Like this doesn't work. But don't mm-hmm. put it back on the shelf again. Yeah. <laughs> don't put it back. Dude, like stop. You can tell when you open something up and it's like factory wrapped factory like everything's right. folded perfectly everything's twist tied just just you know like and you can tell which one's vince is <laughs> there it is I, i'm seeing scotch tape on this You're thing not an idiot. <laughs> yeah anyway um that's fries and it's out of business now and yeah, it's hard to imagine why <laughs> <laughs> i feel like i mean covid sucked for yeah, a lot for of sure. reasons, right? The biggest of which, of course, was loss of life and oh, absolutely, yeah, horrible, horrible, yeah. horrible situation. However, well, there's some junk they were they were building over here that I wanted to see. They however, canceled. they did clear out a little bit of the riffraff, and I don't mean people; I mean businesses, like some businesses who like had no business still being in business. Yeah, that's true clear it out because and so, some you know some businesses unfortunately well, no, some businesses that a lot that, of businesses did not survive that should have survived right yeah absolutely and a lot of and, businesses and survived just had the survive. misfortune of deciding to open at this in february the worst of last possible. year <laughs> yeah i mean if you're in retail and you opened in february it was that was horrible uh, horrible horrible timing yeah but um but you know, you think, I mean, there's a lot of, po- I mean, it's, it's, it's so weird to talk about the positive that comes out of something like this. Yeah, I know. You feel kind of funky. But it's like, true. Well, I mean, yeah, there, there are silver linings to the cloud. The cloud is definitely still there. But yeah, there's but I mean, the, silver there's, lining here there's, and there, too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, the, the communities that ever built and the friendships were made and the, 
Mm-hmm. I think the re the reprioritization. Yeah, that's that's things, what I was gonna say. Is like we've become know, a bit more aware of just how much of a jerk Jason is. That exactly <laughs> that. <laughs> that's Just you can, you can just edit out that last fifteen minutes. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Well, no one needs. I think, the, I no think one you gave us our anything. thesis statement no here. <laughs> For the six people who are still listening, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs>